CNBC TV 18, celebrating 15 years of leadership. What's common to Bank of Baroda, Punjab National Bank and Canara Bank? Yes, they are three of the largest six banks in India. They have also been headless for the past 6 to 11 months. One may add Syndicate, Oriental Bank and Andhra to this list. Post the retirement of their CMDs, the government has split this post into MD and CEO and non-executive chairman. While two rounds of advertisements have been done for the MDs, last week a list of chairmen was shortlisted. Here's how the chairs may be filled. Former Finance Secretary Sumit Bose could be the new chairman of Punjab National Bank. GC Chaturvedi, who has been a Petroleum Secretary in the past, is tipped to be the new chairman of Oriental Bank of Commerce. TN Manoharan, who is on the board of Tech Mahindra and was one of the key people who were brought on the board of the troubled Satyam Computers by the government, may head the Bangalore-based Canara Bank. Ravi Venkateshan, the former Microsoft India head and a director on the board of Infosys, is likely to be the new Bank of Baroda chairman. And G. Padmanabhan, who just retired from the board of RBI, may be the Bank of India's next chairman. Former Corporation Bank CMD B. Sambamulti is on the shortlist for Andhra Bank's chairman post. And Bank of India's former chairman and managing director M. Balachandran is being considered for the chairman position in Indian Overseas Bank. The government is contemplating more changes largely on the lines of the Nayak Committee's recommendations. First, a competitively selected MD and Chairman and then a professional board. The February budget had provided for setting up of a bank board bureau that will in turn appoint these board members. But all of this is yet to happen. But will these changes made so far begin to make some sort of a difference to the hard-pressed public sector banks which are now already drowning in bad loans? In Mumbai, Ritu Singh. Hello and welcome to Indianomics. That's the question I'm asking today on Indianomics. Will these uh, eminent uh, chairmen make a difference uh, along with the uh, new managing directors and CEOs who are going to be selected? Joining me to discuss these and other questions on the show are Mr. M. Damodaran, former SEBI chairman, uh, former chairman of IDBI, and of course, uh, a gentleman as the, uh, uh, the officer on special duty who had uh, undertaken to revamp a lot of uh, weak public sector banks in the 90s. Also uh, joining me is uh, Mr. A.K. Purwar, former chairman of the State Bank of India and a veteran of this entire process, still very active in the financial sector. Uh, Mr. Purwar, Mr. Dawodaran, thank you very much for joining me. Well, there are two or three th steps that have been taken. One is that these nine eminent names have been selected and uh, the final stages of approval are awaited. They will take over as chairman. And then the managing director position. Uh, advertisements have already gone out actually twice over uh, uh, and the selection process is underway. Uh, uh, we probably could get some names from the private sector. We will probably get current executive directors becoming managing directors. But that question a little later. My first question to you, Mr. Uh, Damodaran. Uh, do you think ex uh, the kind of chairman that, that whose names are uh, coming out of the government are going to make a difference uh, to the boards as well as to the banks. Let me make two prefatory statements. The first is that the theory of corporate governance requires that the position of the chairman and managing director should not reside in the same individual. The second is that all the names that one has heard mm. Uh, these are persons of proven integrity, these are persons of merit, these are persons of competence. But that said, is this the right thing to do? I am not so sure. The problem with the public sector banks has been the perceived lack of empowerment, the backseat driving, the remote control, the inappropriate selection process over the last several years, those are the problems. And those problems can be fixed without tinkering with the structure. 
that is my initial response. Mm. Yeah, I take your point, sir. Uh, the, the government should have fundamentally uh, the, ability, the, the willingness not to meddle. But don't you think a, a chairman of this uh, eminence, cha chairman who are well-known people, known for their integrity and uh, uh, for their proven track record, would at least be able to prevent too much meddling? Meddling may still be there, but maybe they may be able to stand up if their managing directors come, came and complained to them that they are under pressure uh, and to use their good office. These gentlemen would at least be uh, some kind of a bulwark? Well, let me put it this way. We are talking about having a part-time non-executive chairman. Mm. Create that position and man those positions with the eminent individuals that you mentioned. Mm. What is going to be the role as part-time non-executive chairman? How much are they going to be able to get involved in the nitty-gritty of banking and to ensure qualitative improvements on a continuing basis? Second, the question that you asked about mm. pressure. Mm. I think you need to deal with pressure at the source. Mm. Where does pressure come from? Mm. I don't imagine that pressure will cease. Mm. It could be less than we've seen it in the last decade. Mm. But there would be phone calls. There would be people that lean on the managing director. Is he like a small schoolboy going up to the chairman and complaining that he's getting pinched by the person sitting in the desk? desk? Mm. Is that the kind of MDs that you're going to select? You must have MDs that stand up to pressure or should be asked to go home. The job of an owner mm. is to select the right management and leave that management to run the organization. Mm. If the management doesn't deliver, ask them to go home. Mm. It's not to look over the shoulder on a continuing basis as has happened mm. uh, some years ago. Mm. And it's also not to tinker with structures. Mm. What you are now doing is, in the name of dealing with a single power structure, uh, a single point uh, you know, of power in the, inside the boardroom, mm. you are, in a sense, disempowering the leader mm. and to think that part-time people will be able to deal with this. I would much rather have these eminent men mm. mentoring middle-level officers in the uh, organization mm. to groom the leaders for the future. Mm. That, I think, is what men of such eminence should be tasked okay. to do. No, I, I, I'm certainly not uh, 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 arguing that uh, this is enough. Uh, clearly, the government in its DNA should be able to treat uh, uh, public sector units as professional units, uh, uh, commercial units, and allow them to function. All that is needed, but this, I thought, would be a first good step. Uh, now, Mr. Purwar, would you agree that they will make some difference uh, to the situation? And uh, an, uh, another question, there are some people who think that, I mean, ex-administrators, ex-IAS officers, they must be very good men, to be sure. But can they run a commercial organization? Will they think profit and loss? Well, uh, you see, let's look at it a little differently, yeah. You know, these eminent people, people of human integrity have been selected to head to provide part-time chairmanship to the different organizations. But my personal belief is that even this, this situation, the organizations will be run and managed by the, by the managing directors yes. who are proven professional bankers. Okay. Having said that, let us look at it that now what is happening in the banking system and that a lot of people have very small term, two years, three years, four years, five years. Four years, five years, rather an exception, mostly two years, three mm. years. Now, within this limited time frame, a person is supposed to have a vision, supposed to initiate measures to, mm. to, to take the organization to the next level, provide the leadership, and make the change happen. Unfortunately, in the organization history, two, three year period is a very small period. Mm. Now, these people, I hope they will have longish term. No, it uh, is at the moment advertised as three year terms so, for the MDs. So, three, no, I am talking about chairman. chairman. And I per 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 hope that these people have longish term. Okay. But you ask me, can they provide a visionary leadership to these banks and institutions? I think it's a question to be debated. Okay. Very difficult, very too early Board to say Board chairmen uh, who are non-executive don't really uh, liaise with the uh, organization much, you think? <laughs> they do liaise, but whether they would be perceived as change agents, visionary leaders, provide effective leadership to the, to the institutions, 
take it to the next level, take it forward, look at 21st century banking? Uh, I really don't know. Not even a marginal <laughs> difference, you think? Are we looking for marginal differences? No, I agree. I agree. Uh, we are looking are for... Are we actually moving forward is what I'm asking. We, I would simply look at the present arrangement as an arrangement which is being attempted. Okay. Perhaps this is being tried, is being, a, a system is getting evolved. Okay. And government is perhaps thinking that, well, let us give this chance. Okay, and you, you don't have a complaint with them being administrators. You wouldn't want them to be... You know, men from industry, like more of the Venkateshans and more of the Manoharans rather than more of uh, uh, IAS officers. Would, would that be a argument? Zata, banking is an extremely sophisticated business. And, and people having spent their lifetime, even at every state they have to learn. Mm. Okay. So, so it's, it's, a, it's a business which is requires... No, so is, a, is this a good enough start is what I'm asking. I would Are say it's a, good, it's a start. Okay. Let's give it a fair chance. Okay. Let us see how things evolve. Okay. But if go, if we are looking for uh, taking the banking system to the next centuries, uh, taking the banking system to, to, a, to developed like, countries' levels, I think there are issues, there okay. are challenges. All right. So what would our two eminent guests like, uh, Mr. Damodar and Purwar? That question to them, but after this break. We are back in a jiffy. CNBC TV 18, celebrating 15 years of leadership.